Hey, how are you guys? So for a long time, I've been wanting to make my own mini little RC tank. And when everything's said and done, I wanted to be able to shoot. I want to have a functional cannon that can take a couple shots, but I'm not quite there yet. So as of this moment, I just have the base finished. So I have two tank treads and a little motors to power them. So I'll show you where I'm at so far. Ninjas attack. For motors, I chose servos. Now this is a little tiny MG90s little metal geared servo. They had them in a plastic geared version, but I chose metal because, you know, I'm hoping they'll last longer. So I think these can run somewhere between 2 and 5 volts, if I'm not mistaken. And they're actually surprisingly strong for their size. They're very tiny little servos, but they're actually very powerful. So I was quite happy with uh, how these turned out. Now, originally these only had about 60 degrees of movement, but I uh, opened them up and I took off, there's a few mechanical stoppers in these that I cut off and then I had to mess with the uh, potentiometer a little bit. But after all that's done, we have 100 degrees of movement and they were good to go. Now for the actual body of my tank, I used Lexan. Lexan, I love Lexan. It's 250, uh, 250 times stronger than glass, not $250 more. So 250 times stronger than glass. And this piece here is approximately, I don't know, 11 by 8 inches. It's 5 bucks at Lowe's. So it's quite nice. It's an acrylic plastic. It's thin, but it's incredibly strong. This is what they use bulletproof glass. This is what they make bulletproof glass out of, like at the banks and stuff as Lexan. So I use this for the body of my tank along with the, uh, the servos and now I'll go ahead and show you my tank so far. So this is my the tank so far. Like I said, you can see the body. We have uh, one piece of Lexan on each side and then for the uh, middle parts I've glued three pieces together so that the Lexan would be thick enough to put screws through if I needed to. So the motors, like I said, mounted in the back. I have screws going through to hold those together. As of yet, I have I do not have connected to anything. I just have it uh, I just have them connected up in uh, parallel so I can test forward and backward, and uh, you'll see how well it climbs. Oh, and I forgot to mention that uh, these treads are actually Lego. I bought them off eBay a little while ago, and they work very well. They I came they came with a. Uh, two treads and six wheels, so three for each side. Well, I'm hoping to put the middle one on for looks later, but I haven't done that yet. So yeah, this is basically everything. It's not too advanced just yet, but it actually climbs surprisingly well. So now, let's see the climbing. Now for the test, I'm just using this little power bank of four double A's. So I'm hoping to use three double A's for the actual uh, receiver inside this, but this will be fine for now. So for our first test, we'll be using this little box. We'll see if he can climb up this. This box is about the same height as the tank is. So here we go. Oh no! Okay, so the box must be a little bit too tall. So I added this little like step. Let's see if this helps any. Here we go. Okay, that did. Let's back out. And shorter objects like this PC fan should be no problem. Okay, so here we go with a climb test. I'll hold this so it doesn't slip because they're just sitting up here right now. And we'll see how well this thing can climb. Come on, little tank, you can do it. As you can see, I've lowered it quite a bit. I can't imagine me having any trouble with this, so we'll go ahead. Yep. Okay, let's try this. I brought some. I brought some. Uh, some of my skivvies in here. I'm just messing with you. Use my T-shirt. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I had a little bit of difficulty at the first, at the beginning, but I think we're good. Okay, t-shirt test. Let's try this one again. There we go.
Awesome. So that's my homemade tank so far. Thank you so much for you guys watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe.